How to customize Shopify Refresh Theme. In this Shopify Refresh Theme customization guide, I'm going to show you how you can actually build up your own store using the Refresh Theme for free. And I can assure you guys that even if you are a complete beginner, you can actually build up your own store using this Refresh Theme. So to get started, you will just have to head over to the Shopify dashboard and then under themes right here on the left, you will just have to click on add theme and then on visit theme store. Now this is basically just to add the refresh theme onto your store. So just click on explore themes, then click on free. And then you will just have to click on this uh, refresh theme right here, which is going to be the second one in order. And then just click on try theme. And now it is basically just going to install onto your online store themes so that you can then customize it and activate it for your online store. And once it's successfully got installed, you will just have to click on publish on the right to actually activate it for your live store. And then you will have to click on customize to get started customizing this. Now, right away, we are going to get started from top to bottom, customizing this refresh theme. So no worries, it is not actually that complicated. Now on the top right, you can change the view of your website. So for example, if you want to look for the mobile view, you will have that option right here. And it is always important to actually look uh, to actually look how your website is going to look on mobile, because obviously nowadays, these days, most of the people are actually going to visit your store on mobile. So it is important to actually customize your page for mobile as well. So as you can see right here on top, we actually do have an announcement bar. And basically this is just going to be a bar where you can put all sorts of different text that for example could promote a sale that is currently going on. Now to actually edit any of these elements right here that you can see, you will just have to click on them. And then on the left, you can edit, you can edit everything the way you want to. For example, you can edit the color scheme if you want to. However, we just leave it at the default. And now to actually change the heading, the text, you will just have to go back and then you will have to select this welcome to, to a store thing and then you can put in basically whatever you want so for example you can say something like 20% off until Sunday and then one other feature which is actually pretty useful is this link feature right here so basically you can make this announcement bar clickable and you can redirect the person to the products page for example so let's for example say that we want to link this announcement bar with our products page and we will just go with the all products section right here so as you can see now whenever someone is going to click on this announcement bar right here they're going to be redirected to the all products section which we're going to customize later on now for now to get started editing the header you will just have to click on it once again and then you can edit everything the way you like to for example you can edit the desktop logo position to top left, middle left, middle center, and so on. So basically you can just customize everything the way you want to. I will just leave it at top center. And now as you can see right here, the logo is actually just a default plain Shopify logo, which we obviously would want to change to our own logo. Now to do that, you will just have to head over to the theme settings on the left. Now these theme settings will basically just work kind of as a default style guide for your whole website where you can edit all sorts of different things. So for example, as for the logo, just click right here and then you can upload your own custom logo. And if you don't already have a logo for yourself and for your dropshipping store, I've actually made a video right here where I will show you how to generate your own logo in a matter of seconds for free. So as you can see now, I've uploaded my own logo and to actually change the size of the logo, we can just slide this slider right here so if, if we for example want to make it bigger we can say okay 200 pixel width maybe then we can just change that over here on the left now one other thing which you can actually upload is the favicon right here so basically the favicon is just going to be the icon that is going to display it on top of the website so you can just upload that right here by once again just selecting the image for your favicon now we can also edit all sorts of other different things right here under the theme settings. Like for example, colors, we can actually change all of the color schemes. So if we would want to change the uh, color right here on top, and we would want to change the color scheme four, we would just have to go to the color scheme four, and then we can change the background, for example, and so on. But but I will not actually do that. For this video, I will just stick with the default color themes, but still you will have that option right here. And one thing which I would also like to touch on is that if you would want to change the font of your overall website, you would just have to go to typography right here. And then under headings, you can actually change the font. So for example, if you would want to change the font 
for the headings right here. Then you would just have to click on change and then you can select all sorts of different fonts. For example, one font that I personally really like is the Poppins font right here. So I will just select that. And as you can see, now it is going to be updated for our website. Let's see if we, for example, also could add the Poppins bold font right here. And as you can see, now it's updated for our website. However, it's not really suits the heading style because obviously the headings most of the time are going to be, be a bit more bold. So to actually change that, you will just have to go to the bottom left right here. And then I will just change it to bold right here. And then I will just click on select. And as you can see, now it looks pretty nice. Now we could, for example, also change the body font, which is going to be the smaller font, which is, for example, going to be displayed right here. Uh, however, I will not actually do that. As for this video, I, I don't want to waste your time, basically. Now you also have tons of other different features and different customization options right here under the theme settings. But in general, these three that I've just covered are the most important ones. All right, let's now get started editing the homepage of our website. Now, right here, you basically will see a slideshow. And if you actually want to change the image on the background, then you would just have to select the slideshow. And then under select image, you can upload whatever image you want. So for example, I will just quickly upload a banner image for my test store. And I will just quickly upload it. And then I'm just going to select it. And as you can see, now we've got our own picture added onto the slideshow. So if you, for example, would want to edit the heading right here, then you could just do that. However, I will just once again leave it at the normal. And as for the heading size, if you want to change that, you will also have that option. For example, if you want to make it small, medium, or also large, then you could ju can just do that right here. If you want to do a subheading and if you want to add something like uh, browse or newest products, then you can also do that. And generally one thing which is going to be the same for all, all over the store basically is that if you're going to delete anything right here, so if you maybe just want to leave this blank, it is automatically going to be deleted from the element right here and it is then automatically going to be resized. Now as for the button label, we can change this to for example buy now and then as for the button link, we can basically once again, same as the heading, just use different kind of links for our products. So for example, right now it's linked to all products. So whenever someone is going to click right here, they're going to be redirected to the all products section. However, we could technically also change that to something like, let's say for example, that we want to redirect the person that is going to click this to all collections. And as you can see now, whenever someone is going to click right here, they're going to be redirected to the collection page right here. Um, obviously you, you would have to set up some collections for this to work. Now, as you can see right here on the browse all latest products, there's actually a featured, pro featured product section, which I think actually suits the overall theme of the homepage really nice. But if we would, for example, want to delete this featured product section, we would just have to select it. And then by clicking on remove section on the left, we can just delete it. And, and to add sections onto our website, we can just click on the left right here, and then we can add all sorts of different things. For example, one thing that I personally really like adding is this multi-row content right here. And basically using this section right here, you can display different kind of products that you're going to sell. So let's, for example, get started with the first one. And let's just say that as an example, I'm going to sell this, this face moisturizer. So I will just upload it. And as you can see, we can now get started editing the caption right here. So I will just go with um, hashtag one best seller. And then as for the heading, I will go with face moisture moisturizer. And as for the text, you would obviously have to put in your product description right here. And we can also add a button to this. So once again, I will just change the button to buy me. And then as for the button link, we would now obviously don't want to link this to the product catalog right here as we did uh, on the announcement bar as well as on the buy now button. However, we are going to link this to the actual product. So I will just click on button link right here. And then under products, I'm just going to select the face moisturizer right here. So as you can see, now whenever someone is going to click right here, they're going to be redirected to the face moisturizer, which we're going to set up later on, no worries. But for now, we are going to get back to the home page. And by the way, if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you actually find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, as you can see, we could now actually continue this process. If we want to, we could now display another product that we are currently selling. 
However, for now, I will just add another section to this page. And as for this, I will just go with a multi-column section, actually. Now, a multi-column section can be used in many different ways. For example, if you want to, you can display different kind of reviews, this different kind of images right here. And to do that, you would just have to click on each of these columns. And then you can set the text as well as the heading. And if you want to, you could, for example, also add an image to this, which is going to look something like this. And we could, for example, use this multi-column section as well for this displaying different kind of features of our products. In my case, I'm selling beauty products, so it could, for example, make sense to actually list all of the features and all of the reasons why anyone should actually buy from my brand and not from any other beauty brand out there. And now I think we're now pretty much done with the home page. Now, if you actually want to edit this menu right here on top, you can actually also do that. You will just have to select the header and then on the main menu, you will just have to click on this little icon, I guess, and then you can also edit this the way you want to. So for example, if you would want to add a new tab right here, you could do that by just clicking on add new menu item. And then we could, for example, add a direct link for the face moisturizer. So I will just link this to the product and, to, and then to the face moisturizer right here. And then by clicking on add and save menu, it should automatically be added onto our store. So I will just click on save store right here. And now it should actually get added. And as you can see right now, if we are, for example, on the, are on the home page, we can then directly use this menu icon right here. We can then directly, we can then directly use this menu tab right here to get redirected to the face moisturizer. However, obviously you can use this for many different other ways as well. Now, as you can see, this is how the product page actually is going to look like. So to get started editing this, once again, you can just select any kind of element that you want to edit. So for example, if you want to edit the share button right here, then you can also do that. However, I will just leave this on top as the default. And then as you can see, they automatically by default added a similar product section right here, which I actually think does suit the overall a product page really well because obviously if they're going to be interested in a face moisturizer they might as well buy something like deodorants or body wash so i will just leave this as it is however once again if you want to edit everything uh, you can just do that so for example if you only want to display two products right here then you can also select that now i on my store i only have these products right here so if i'm just going to select eight there aren't going to show up eight products just because I've not have added enough, enough products to do that essentially. But obviously for you that this is going to be different. And then we can also change the number of columns on the desktop version. And then we could, for example, also select the number of columns on the desktop version. We can now also add other sections to our product page. So to do that, just click right here. And one thing which I actually always like to add onto my product page is this collapsible content right here. And you can basically use this collapsible content in many different ways. Like for example, if you want to, you can actually set, your own, uh, set up your own custom FAQ on the product page. So I will just name this frequently asked questions. And as you can see, now we can actually get started. So for example, the first question could be, how long does shipping take? And then we could obviously just answer this question. And I'm just going to say shipping usually takes between one to two weeks inside the US. So now one other thing which is actually important to customize as for the collapsible row is the icon right here. Now obviously this check mark doesn't really suit the question. So as this is a shipping related question, I will just choose a different icon. Maybe I will just go with this truck icon right here. And as you can see, this looks way nicer in my opinion. And that's basically it for the customization. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe.